so much buzz surrounding the start of college basketball season. We told you at the top of the show a huge matchup for the Indiana State Sycamores. You may have noticed Rick Semler isn't here with me. That's because he's over in Bloomington and he joins us now after ISU's big win over the Indiana Hoosiers. Rick. All right, thanks, Casey. All week long, I talked to the ISU men's basketball team, and they told me they had something to prove for this game and this season after their rough year last year. And you know what? They sent a message loud and clear to the Hoosiers tonight. The Archie Miller coaching era got underway at IU tonight, and the Sycamores weren't very kind guests. Jordan Barnes set the tone early. He came to play three, and he's fouled. He'd hit the free throw for the four point play to give the Sycamores a 16 to 6 lead. ISU was making it rain threes in Bloomington. Britton Scott from distance. ISU stretches their lead out to 25 to 11. Hoosiers big man Jawan Morgan with a great one on one move. He scores inside. After a slow start, IU trying to rally. Deron Davis throws it down. He had a nice game for the Hoosiers with four. 14 points. ISU's defense was awesome all game. Kedar Davis, the steal and hoop. How about this? ISU up 54 to 33 at the half. Jordan Barnes opens the second half with a three for ISU. The Sycamores guard had 18 points. ISU couldn't miss from three point land. Bronson Kessinger from distance. They hit 17 threes, one off the school single game record. ISU was 17 for 26 on threes. They shot 65% in the game from long range. Davis puts the guys in blue up 30. The pick and roll worked all game for IU. Morgan, the rim rocker. IU would score six straight in the second half, trying to get back in it. Josh Newkirk says one, two, three. Hoosiers down 24. Britton Scott hit six threes. The senior dropped a team high 24 points for ISU, and everyone was contributing for the guys in blue. Brandon Murphy and one. The big fella had 12 points. ISU pounds IU 90 to 69. The Sycamores hand the Hoosiers their first home opening season loss since 1984. We schedule it to come in here and win. I mean, it's not like we're coming here to take home a check, you know, in a bye game. We, we schedule these games. We've always done it in Indiana State. We're not, we've won at Older Name. We've fought Purdue like crazy. The Indiana State's won in here before. Uh, we're, not, we're not trying to take a back seat to anybody. It's a big accomplishment for us. You know, we were in the locker room going crazy, and uh, we didn't know that, that fact, but, uh, you know, uh, we, we were going crazy and we were having a lot of fun doing it. We made a bunch of shots. We threw in some stuff at the end of shot clocks. We, we did some things tonight, you know, that took the momentum and the steam away from those guys. And they're, they're, they got a lot of new guys, too. They got a lot of new guys. They're finding their way. Our guys have been practicing very well. It feels good. Rick, it does. I'm not going to lie. It does feel good. This is, I have a, uh, a tremendous respect for this place. We still have a lot to prove. We still have a lot to get better on. And, uh, you know, I think we, we made a statement tonight. And uh, I think guys, you know, are, are aware of Indiana State now. So the Sycamores beat the Hoosiers 90 to 69. Tonight's game marked the first time that these two schools had met in 11 years. And after the way Indiana State beat IU, we might have another 11 years before these two schools meet again. Reporting from Assembly Hall, I'll send it back to you in the studio, Casey.